The town of Summit is in mourning after losing an officer in the line of duty. 12 News' Tia McKenzie is in Summit Police Department with reaction. There has been an outpouring of support from the community. People have been stopping by the Summit Police Department to pay tribute to Officer Troy Floyd. Macomb police responded within less than five minutes after hearing an officer was down. That's when a manhunt for the suspect began. Two Macomb officers were injured after making contact with 25-year-old Usher Leonard. Macomb Chief Juan Cloy says Leonard fired his weapon before being shot and killed by law enforcement. Cloy gave an update on the Macomb officer's condition before sending his condolences to the Floyd family. Flags are now at half staff around parts of the Magnolia State following Thursday a shooting that claimed the life of the beloved veteran cop. And I've seen a lot of people uh, get hit um, that were friends of mine. A lot of officers die. Didn't think that that would happen down here. And um, we try to prepare as best as we can here with what I learned from Jackson. Um, but um, you never can prepare for this no matter where you work. So, uh, but it was, it was, it was a bad day for me. Um, but I can't, it was the worst day for the Floyd family. The two officers who were injured are now on administrative leave. The Mississippi Bureau of Investigation is taking a lead role in this case. Reporting in Summit, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.